Since I became the patron of Construction Youth Trust more than 30 years ago, we have helped thousands of young people on their career journey into the built environment sector. It is with great delight that I'm able to share some of our recent successes, including how we have tackled the changes we have all experienced over 2020. In light of COVID-19, our work to inspire and support young people facing the greatest barrier to achieve their full career potential has become more important than ever. My name is Sean Owaz and I'm a trainee quantity surveyor at Langarook. Hi, my name is Miraz. I'm 18 years old and I'm doing an apprenticeship in civil engineering. My name is Mabinti and I would like to do something that's combined with IT and business. Our vision is a construction and built environment sector that drives social mobility and delivers social value by inspiring and enabling the diverse young talents of 21st century Britain to overcome barriers and build better futures. Last year, we reached almost 26,000 young people. Before I met the Construction Youth Trust, I actually wanted to, I was quite confused and I wasn't too sure what, which career path I wanted to take. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought unprecedented challenge and change to the world, and we had to quickly adapt to ensure that we were able to continue effectively supporting those young people most at need. From May to July 2020, we engaged almost 800 young people through our online sessions and programmes. We secured funding to ensure that those young people without access to devices and the internet weren't left isolated and abandoned. Through our place-based approach, we create local networks that allow us to inspire and support a young person on their career journey. We have established networks across London and North Kent. Our work is employer-led, ranging from curriculum-based sessions in secondary schools that illuminate a student's learning within World of Work scenarios to intensive mentoring programmes designed to support young people facing barriers to make a successful next step you get to experience what you're going to experience at work. So if that means coming in at a certain time, having a certain task to do it and a certain amount of time to complete the task, and you get to work with people you actually are in work so they can give you like their experience of when like, they first started and like how they progressed to where they are now. Our immersive World of Work programmes help a young person to become more work ready developing employability skills by connecting them to industry professionals and employers. Focusing on a young person's skills and interests, we support them to discover career opportunities they have never previously considered, raising their aspirations and helping them to secure their goals. So I was able to build up a rapport with the recruiters and uh, uh, the staff, staff members so when I went to the, the real one, I was more prepared and I knew who I was and what I wanted to do. This helped prepare me for my actual assessment as it gave me a real taste of what questions could be asked, how, to, how I was meant to treat the interview and how everything would sort of be put in place. And this is exactly what ended up happening for the real interview. And I think that helped boost my confidence even more. And that's what made me do well and be successful throughout the interview. Our work inspiring and supporting young people to reach their full career potential is now more important than ever. If you are passionate about equipping young people with the skills and opportunities to overcome barriers and discover rewarding careers, then we would love to hear from you and explore the ways in which we can work together to support the diverse talent of our futures.